Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're here at a very special location in South Carolina. We're at Carolina Motorsports Park, and look what we have. This is the all new 2021 Dodge Durango Hellcat. And boy, oh boy, do we have some supercharged special goodness underneath the hood. But before we dive into this three row midsize SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. So remember, it was Dodge who just shook the whole auto industry many years ago, came out with the original Hellcat, all 707 horsepower in a Challenger. It was all under warranty and horsepower numbers never seen that high. Well, guess what? Dodge bringing it every single year, raising the bar. They've decided, you know what? Why not take the Hellcat power plant? Everybody's wanted one. Why not drop it into the Durango and see how that's gonna go with this vehicle with having 710 horsepower underneath the hood, plus all wheel drive and handling that really is gonna blow your mind based off of this being a three row SUV. One thing is for certain, there is that saying Mopar or no car. You could also add Mopar or no SUV to this vehicle because you're getting all that Mopar power and performance some new styling touches that even if you don't go Durango Hellcat, there's some new changes for 2021, not only on the outside, which I'm gonna show you, but also an all new infotainment system. So let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out, is this the ultimate when it comes to a performance SUV for your hard earned money? Right off the bat, the styling. I love the color. I love what they did with the front of the business. So when you're looking at the headlight housing, they actually shrank the height of it they lowered it about an inch. And what they did, very smart, they took LED lights for your daytime running lamps, both top and bottom. You got your LED headlights. And there was a question that many people were asking, what happened to the fog lamps? The reason why there's fog, no fog lamps is that you have functional vents. So you're gonna have these massive functional air intakes on both corners. That's gonna bring air into the cold air induction box, but it's also gonna bring air on the other side for a specific engine oil cooler. That's what I'm telling you about performance. It's not just about putting a big engine underneath the hood. You gotta make sure you keep the temperatures down, but you also gotta make sure you keep that performance up. When we come across that massive front end, just screams SRT, and you're gonna have your SRT badge with the Hellcat logo there. Remember, SRT stands for Street and Racing Technology brought so many great vehicles over recent memory, especially one of my personal favorites, the Dodge Viper, and of course, the original Hellcat, Hellcat Red Eye, and all the other goodies coming from Mopar. But I love the flat black grill, all open, functional, great shape to it, really falls in alignment with a charger. So I like the way you could see the connection between the charger and this Durango Hellcat. You drop down, you're gonna get some more flat black and more functionality. Now, one thing you're gonna notice is a little bit of a refresh of the front end of the business. Besides the headlights, you're gonna get, this is all unique to the Hellcat. So you're gonna have this massive front splitter that comes down. Even the way that they designed the corners here is to not only give us downforce, but to help scoop gobs of air into those coolers. And here's what I was telling you about. This is the other functional corner vent. You can literally see the engine oil cooler peeking from behind that's what Dodge brings to the table, that kind of performance. Now, when we get up onto the hood, more functionality, and that's why I just fall in love with these vehicles. Every time I get behind the wheel, you have your functional center scoop with the bulge. Every, everybody wants a bulge, you're getting a massive bulge on the hood of this Durango muscle car type of bulge. And you're gonna have not only the functionality in the center, but functional heat extractors. And one of the things I love is the way that the heat extractor, the location of it, gives it such a great shape, that nice rise, the way it kind of drops down, that's gonna drag that hot air from underneath the hood. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire specific on this? So this is gonna be your Hellcat, your Durango Hellcat specific wheel. That's a 20 inch wheel, 20 by 11, all four corners. You have your machined aluminum, your flat black, and new for 2021, what I want you to do is the next time you're at a car show or a dealership, the way that you know it's a 2021, Charger Hellcat, Challenger Hellcat, Durango Hellcat. You see these massive six piston Brembo calipers the size of Ronald McDonald's head? You now have SRT on the actual caliper. That is 
a first for 2021. And of course, you still got the Brembo name because those are Brembo six piston calipers, two piece rotors over 15 inches in diameter. So we're talking about pizza size and those red rotors are gonna squeeze down, uh, calipers are gonna squeeze down the rotors and just make some beautiful uh, tomato sauce real easy and stop this vehicle on a dime and give everybody change. I love the way they kind of did a little bit of a fender flare. It's gonna be interesting to see if they do a red eye version of this and even flare the fenders out and give us even more rubber all four corners, but you are gonna have that all wheel drive system. And yes, very similar to the Jeep Trackhawk, but there are some differences. One of them being a, the different drive shaft, but you got that two speed transfer case. Love the height between the top of the tire and the inside of the fender. And speaking of the fender, as we go into that fender, you got that nice Hellcat logo. What they did was they actually made it a two piece logo. So you have your black accent and then your shiny silver bit really gives it a lot of depth, a lot of dimension. Right now I'm getting bit up by all these wonderful South Carolina gnats and mosquitoes and bugs out here. So that makes it even more exciting with this Durango. Color matched on the mirror caps, LED turn singles. You can see really nice that lower sill, especially the way it kind of flares down towards the back. And as we come towards the rear, I like the way there's not a, a bunch of gloss black. You have a little bit here, but everything else, the way they drop the quarter window in, nice seamless flush, gives you a, almost like a flared fender look up top. And when we come to the tail in the business, like I was saying, 295s. 45 series sidewall, and that's 295 all four corners with that all wheel drive. You're gonna have a four piston Brembo caliper out back with the SRT logo. And even though these are the rear caliper, the rear rotors, they are slotted. So that's gonna help dissipate heat along with being ventilated. Inside the rear pumpkin back here, you got 373 gears. This thing will do a buck 80, a buck 80. And if you're wondering well, what's a buck 80, dollar 80? No, 180 miles per hour in a Durango. That's crazy. We get to the rear, special. They reworked the low roof spoiler. They gave you a little bit of a kick up on both sides. This actually produces tons of extra downforce. Between the front and the rear, you're looking at about a 400% increase in downforce on this Durango Hellcat. Love the LED lighting. They just kind of went out right now, but you have your LED taillights, the Dodge logo looking really clean. My one zonk is I wish they would have taken this windshield wiper, this rear wiper, and tucked it in up underneath here instead of having it kind of dangling down there. But Durango, you got that all-wheel drive badge, very tasteful badge with the Dodge logo there. And then, of course, we have our SRT out the back. Let people know, guess what? You're not going to see these taillights for very long because as soon as that light turns green, gone. See ya. Goodbye. Drop down. Here's the crazy news. You don't have to give up your usability. You don't have to give up your versatility. Underneath this plastic cover is not $100. There's actually a class four trailer hitch, 8,700 pound towing capability with a supercharged V8. Yep, you'll be the first one down at the boat ramps with the boat in the water saying see ya, like going to Gilligan's Island. I like that touch. Even the exhaust, nice slash cut oval shape. This has the largest X-pipe ever put on a Durango, and it gives you that nice muscle car heartbeat while you're sitting at a light and you're kind of just hitting that throttle a little bit. But why don't we pop the hood and see the true heart of this Hellcat Durango. All right, guys, got the hood popped. You got a massive hydraulic hood strut. You could clearly see the functionality of the heat extractor there. It's almost like looking through a glass window. That's how wide open it is. But boy, oh boy, I almost want to put my hands on this, but it's gonna burn me because we just had it running. It's like I almost want to hug it like a teddy bear, like a Hellcat teddy bear, but that is that Hemi. Does she have a Hemi? Yes, there's a Hemi under that hood. That's a 6.2 liter supercharged V8. We're talking about 710 horsepower, 645 tree stump pulling pound feet of torque. It's all gonna be done with that supercharger up top, producing 11.6 pounds of boost. Of course, it's gonna be mated to that torque flight, eight speed automatic transmission, getting the power to the ground through the all wheel drive system. You're looking at a Durango that will do zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. And guess what? NHRA certified. And when I say NHRA, what does that stand for? National Hot Rod Association certified. Quarter mile, 11. 0.5 seconds at 119 miles an hour. I already let the cat out of the bag about the top speed, 180 mile per hour top speed. You still get that strong cast iron block 
a forged steel crankshaft, a 92 millimeter throttle body, and like I said, the largest X-pipe in Durango history. You're also gonna receive a new air guide snorkel in that corner vent that's gonna to lead to a cold air induction system. They retune the suspension, and that's what makes all of this magic happen. You even have a duct. When I say a duct, I'm, I'm talking about a duct. A duct underneath, not a duct like a quack quack, that's gonna bring air to cool the transmission and the engine oil cooler and everything. So it's not just about sticking this beast of an engine in there, that's only half of it. It's about doing all the other tweakings. But you could clearly see that massive throttle body here. Look how look at the size of this opening. It's bigger than my bro, my brother Michael's mouth when he's eating spaghetti. That's how large it is. And to have supercharged Hemi with the Hellcat logo, one of the sexiest engines. I want to take one home and just put it in my living room and just stare at it. I use it as a coffee table. Well, why don't we go ahead? Let's fire up this Hellcat and hear its roar. All right, guys, we're in the 2021 Dodge Durango Hellcat. They call this color white knuckle. That's what I. That's another thing I love about Dodge is the name of their colors, especially when it comes to interior options as well. And I know you're at that point. You're like Joe. This is one bad mamma jamma of an SUV. I really want some muscle in my three row midsize. What's the price on this? MSRP, and this one is pretty much fully loaded besides some racing stripes, but you know what? You don't need racing stripes because you're just gonna race down that drag strip so fast they're not even gonna see your Durango Hellcat sitting there very long. You look at MSRP, right around $92,000. Let's see what you get for the money. To the door panels, you'll notice some new changes for 2021 that gets carried across the whole Durango lineup. Soft touch material, a little bit of gloss black. I like the dark chrome on the door handle. Check out that fused carbon fiber. It's not a weave carbon fiber, it's a fused carbon fiber. Gives it a nice new touch, something new, something different, something tasteful. You have leather on the armrest, the white contrast stitching, optional Harman Kardon sound system. The only bummer is that door pocket. You maybe could fit one Twinkie in there, maybe two. Don't go three because you're going to bust cream all over this beautiful demonic interior. Go small on the milk as well since you can only put one or two Twinkies in there. But boy oh boy, when you get to the interior, we have the Laguna setup and we have the demonic setup. So like I was saying, the names of the colors, dark red, de demonic, Love the white contrast st stitching, soft touch. This is all new from this side all the way across to the driver's side, all new for 2021, no matter what Durango you get. As you keep sliding, here is the cherry on top of that beautiful Sunday. Look at it, over 10 inches. I know a lot of people want 12 inches, but I promise you 10 inches will get the job done. This is the all new Uconnect 5, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all wireless. Did you hear me? wireless Apple CarPlay Android Auto. You could go into your AC controls. Look what Dodge does. They put race helmets on all of the different icons. They want car enthusiasts to, to want this vehicle, and that's who they built it for, for us, the car enthusiasts. You got your navigation. Remember performance pages on the Uconnect 4? Sometimes you could go make yourself a foot-long sub, meatball sub, and come back, and it's still not loaded. This is gonna be quicker. Look at that. There's your gauges. You got all your readouts. Keep everything in check. You could go into your G-Force meter, see how she's launching. And this thing will launch hard with that launch control, which makes life so wonderful. You could go into your dyno engine setup, the back to the gauges, your timers. Everything is here, we vehicle dynamics. And then you just hit this back and then you could go into race options. Here's your launch control. You could actually adjust what RPM you leave at. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel it, but you could adjust all by the press of a button. And if you notice, that little slider, that's the Dodge logo. Those are the touches that they bring to the table with this vehicle. Go back into comfort. You got heated seats, ventilated seats, and heated steering wheel. If you don't want to touch the screen, that's okay, because I'll show you another way to navigate through the AC system. Here's reverse. It's a little blurry because it's been raining, but the great news is you do have trajectory, and the even better news is it almost takes up all 10 inches of that new infotainment system put it in the park and we're right back again just a little bit of gloss black you got that bright red start stop button as soon as you hit that that means you're going to be whooping some butt at the strip 
And then, like I told you, if you don't like the touch screens, you could touch switches and knobs. You got ventilated seats, heated seats, heated steering wheel. My, my little advice I have for you, let's say somebody's been calling you out locally. They say they could beat you at the strip and you're sitting at that light and you're starting to sweat. Put on the ventilated seats. You won't have to sweat in front of everybody. And guess what? They'll be sweating you when you blow their doors off. You have your nice toggle switches, launch control. You can get into your performance pages real easy. I got USBs out the yin yang. Two USB-Cs, two USBs, and an aux jack. Wireless charging, my only zonk, no sliding lid. It would have been sexy to have a nice Durango Hellcat lid here. You do have a large area for all those pink slips and time slips, especially the pink slips. You're gonna be taking people's vehicles from them left and right. Two cup holders. This is controlling that ZF eight-speed automatic transmission. Notice the demonic interior. The red comes all the way up on the side. You even have your extra Twinkie pocket here, which is a nice little touch, and a 12 volt, which is great. And that's a good location because then you could plug in your radar detector very easily. Nice high armrest. We have the red key, of course. We're at official Dodge event. We're bringing it to you big. This unlocks all 710 horsepower. You have remote start. You could pop the back, lock and unlock. Soft touch, open this up. We got cleaning wipes, hey, 12 volt. This is where you're gonna put your race winning Twinkie. So after your last run of the night when you collected all the trophies, have it in here, give it to the biggest loser. Say, here's a trophy from Rady's Rides and myself. Give them a Twinkie. Why do we have this in here, a DVD player? I'll show you in a little bit. So hold your horses, your horsepower that is. SRT, just embossed in the back here. Love the leather on the Laguna package. Even the red seat belts means you're ready to rock and roll. Full power assist for the passenger and the driver, no panoramic sunroof, but what you do get is Alcantara. Not that guy, Alcantara, that lives down the street. Mr. Mr. Cantara, Alcantara, which is the name of the company that makes this microfiber suede material, pet it like a kitty cat. Because guess what, you have a Hellcat and you have that headliner, but why don't you come over to the business end? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this Durango Hellcat. All right, guys, here we are, business time. You do have two memory seat settings, which is a nice touch. We have the brushed aluminum supercharged badge here, looking really good. And then you even have brushed aluminum brake pedal and throttle to unleash 710 horsepower. Seats, I got plenty of headroom. Six feet tall, you could be the jolly green giant and still feel good in here. Power seat controls, easy to get to. Steering wheel, nice and thick. Leather, the white contrast stitching. I'm zonking this plastic. This should be carbon fiber at $90,000. SRT badge glows red when you turn on the lights. You got paddles. They're a decent size. I wish they were a little bit larger, especially when you're doing a track day like we are. And then look at that instrumentation. You have that nice digital display in the center, analog speedometer, analog fuel gauge, and coolant gauge. The only other downside in here that I can find right now is gonna be this mirror. It's not a frameless mirror. It's just that regular thick frame. Kind of seems out of place, but everything else I feel really, really good in here. Like, really, really good. But you know what? Your passengers are gonna feel really good. Let's get to that mid-row and see what changes are in store on the 2021 Durango. All right, guys, mid-row time in this three-row SUV. Love the seating, Laguna everywhere, demonic red. Check this out. So the backs of the seats have some soft leather, have some plastic so your kids can pick their nose and wipe it here and then you can clean it off. You have your Durango Hellcat Uconnect 5. There we go, that's what I'm talking about, yeah. Because guess what, remember how I told you there's a Blu-ray player underneath that center console? Check it out, look at this. So we have two screen monitors right in the back. You got your wireless headset, so you're not gonna disrupt anybody while you're watching. Hey, why don't you watch some racing while you're racing down the track? That sounds fun as a backseat passenger. Flip this back down, you can see you have all your connectivity built into the back of the seat. And speaking of con uh, connectivity, we kind of drop down a little bit. You're gonna have your rear AC, more USBs, heated seats, and a home power source. The only zonk, I know you thought, hey, everything's perfect in the Durango. No ventilated seats. It gets, it, while you're going down the strip or doing a top speed 180 miles an hour as a passenger, your backside is gonna get a little, little sweaty. It'd be nice to have ventilated seats, but look at this. I got my little, our, my little center console. You could easily drop a box of Twinkies USB, a 12 volt, and then look at this. Let's see if I could do it here. Up, oh, you could, uh, there it is. I knew it was there. Felt lined, soft, 
as a kitty cat and you're not gonna scratch the colors off of your Skittles. So this is a perfect Skittle tray. My only advice before you do that, I'd probably eat them all or you're gonna have a rainbow all over the floor. Close it up, look at this. Feeling good, I got AC controls up here. I don't even need a bend over. And you have AC vents and a nice little hook here where you could put you know, your race winnings. Maybe you get like a purse, a race purse. You can put the race purse up there. If you're wondering what's a race purse, that's what you win, the money that you get. You don't actually get a purse. But you can ask for one. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out the third row and see if your passengers are gonna be liking life in the fastback. All right guys, time to get in the third row. I already moved the seat out of the way. Nice wide opening. I'm gonna put up the headrest so it doesn't stab me in my back. And then look at this. So I'm leaving the seat here. You got plenty of room. You got AC vents in the ceiling. Plus I have AC vents blowing nice cool air on my ankles. So you're not gonna have sweaty ankles back here. Let's do the knee to face test. Really good, look, I got plenty of room between top of my knee and my mouth. You got cup holders. I guess the only zonk back here is there's no connectivity, but you know what? I don't think I'm probably gonna have many people sitting in the back of my Durango. Uh, because I don't have too many people to drive around. But if you do, you got good space and the net leather's nice and soft. But why don't we go ahead, let's open up that hatch and see what kind of mail we could haul in this tire smoking Durango. All right guys, time to get into that cargo area. Hit the button, nice electric assist. A little on the slow side, but you know what? It'll get there. You can see the amount of room that you have with the third row up. What I do like is they do give you storage and boy oh boy, Think about how many snacks you could put in there. Snickers, Kit Kat, Three Musketeers, Butterfingers, the whole candy aisle. Just go to the grocery store and you know you do stick out your arm like this and just go and put all of the stuff into the cart and then just dump it back there for your next family trip. That sounds like a family trip I wanna go on. You do have an emergency holder there for maybe some water in case anybody's having shock from that sugar rush that you just gave them. But we do have the seats easy to get to and what's wonderful is look at this you don't need electric motors you just need your hands you can see how the seats fold down plenty of space and then of course that mid row is going to fold down and think about just how many things you could put back here the great news is let's say you want to run some slicks at the track all-wheel drive with slicks you could have those mounted on tires back here and swap them out at the track and then you're good to go Speaking of going, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go ahead and take this Durango Hellcat for a little All right, spin. guys, we're in the Dodge Durango Hellcat. Give it a throttle, here we go. Launch it in the wet. Yeah! <laughs> so, obviously rainy day here in North and South Carolina, because we're driving the Durango Hellcat from North Carolina to South Carolina, we're at Carolina Motorsports Park, and normally the rain would be like a bummer, but I'm thinking that with the Durango Hellcat, because we have all-wheel drive, you can still have a blast with it. And the wonderful news is that daily driving this SUV is so amazing. Like, I would love if I was a kid and my mom or dad had one of these, boy oh boy to be picked up at school or from school in one of these is amazing now of course you get all the different drive modes we just did launch control getting the power to the ground even on the wet surface was pretty damn good for 710 horsepower loving the all-new uconnect 5 they really have updated it upgraded it and i think you're just going to even love the way the dash looks with that new system compared to last year's Durango. All right, guys, once again, I'm gonna activate launch control. We're adding that brake pressure. We're applying full throttle. Here we go. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this thing is gonna put a smile on your face 10 miles wide. I might as well be in Texas because that's how large of a smile this vehicle is going to put on your face. And I don't know if you heard with the launch control, the way it, you hear that, that that's bouncing off the, the uh, limiter there to hold you in. And then what's awesome is you get to raise or lower 
what RPM you leave at. And having that all-wheel drive, like I said, just keeps you gripping as if you put Gorilla Glue on all four Pirellis on this vehicle. Seats are comfortable. I love the uh, new style, that, that uh, carbon fiber finish that they're adding in here. Really just brings up the level of attention to detail, the fit and finish. And I think for me, the best part is Dodge is obviously building cars for you and I, for the enthusiasts. Cars that are fun, SUVs that are fun, versatile, and they're easy to use. I've been in vehicles where you gotta do a knock and a special password just to get into the launch control. With this, it's a one, two, three thing. It really, really is. And even having it in track setting, driving down this country road, very smooth. You get the supercharger wine that you want. You get that feeling, that muscle car feeling, the exhaust note with that massive X pipe that's underneath the center of this vehicle. All right, guys, let's do a, how about we're doing right now about 40? On throttle! Yeah. <laughs> Sign me up. I wouldn't mind parking one of these in my garage. All right, guys, one more time for you, one more time for me. Activate launch control, 2300, here we go. Release, yeah! <laughs> Whoa! This thing is a monster. No, it's not a monster, it's a Hellcat. Hellcat Durango. But hopefully that gave you some nice fun behind the wheel. I know it's raining. I wish I could have done a little bit more for you. But hey, like always on Rady's Rides, we always make the best of it. But I will see you. We're going to wrap this up, so I'll see you in a split right, second. guys. It's been one hellcat of a day here at Carolina Motorsports Park. I definitely want to thank Kimberly and the whole crew for helping to put this together and definitely inviting Rady's Rides what Dodge is doing is just separating them from the rest of the pack. This Durango Hellcat, it almost leads me, leaves me speechless. It makes me definitely mumble up my words. I become a mumbling idiot for a second there, but supercharged power, new Uconnect 5, three row capability. If you want to have your muscle car cake and eat an SUV too, you can do it and you could do it big. And boy, oh boy, are you going to be the standout of everybody on the block driving one of these beasts each and every day. But if you want to keep seeing higher performance SUVs here on Ray's Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Ray's Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you in the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to the queen of the camera. Working hard. There's gnats everywhere. There's bugs. There's rain. There's clouds. And there's a Hellcat. So thank you, Lori, for all that you have done, all that you continue to do for Radies Rides. Show her some love because I'm telling you right now, she's working the muscle to get this muscle car of an SUV on camera. So thank you, Lori. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.